Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a ride review on Nemesis Inferno. Let's get on with ne the Nemesis Inferno ride review. So let's talk about Nemesis Inferno, shall we? It is a Bolliger and Mablard in inverted coaster, it is. And it's also called B well Bolliger and, Man and Mambla is B and M for short because I because people won't want to say Bolliger and Mambla because yeah um, it is it came into Fort Park in the year two thousand three it was made and it is in the jungle themed area of the park which is at the very back of the park on the right hand side it's right next to Rumble Rapids it is Inferno it is. And it also, well, well, Inferno has a ride time of one minute and forty-three, yeah, one minute and forty-three seconds. Yeah, it has four. It contains four Gs. It does, and it has four inversions, which are a vertical loop, a zero G roll, and I think it's, I think they count as two inversions, interlocking two interlocking corkscrews, or it might be one. I can't. Quite remember, ah, uh, and and the lift hill is ninety five foot tall. It is, and it has also contains a double helix in the ride, which is I can't really explain it, but you can see here at the very top of the screen there, that's the double helix that the ride just went round. It is, and um, it's got great good theming. I feel for this ride, people give it some. Um, stick for not having very good theming, but I feel like it's decent theming for what it is You have a pre lift hill section where you're going you leave the station Go round into a tunnel which is in a volcano Which is what the rise meant to be around like the volcano You go in there you got mist around there and then you come out go up the lift hill very slowly and when you're at the top of the lift hill it's very it's got very good views of the rest of the park. Like if you look to your left, you see Stealth Swarm. To your right, you got Darren Brown, Saw, Colossus, and then I feel like with the restraints being a B and M, they're actually very comfortable. Unlike the Swarm ones, which are also B and M, but not quite as comfortable as the Nemesis Inferno one. And Inferno has often been compared to um, the original Nemesis at Orn Towers. I don't know which one's better. I haven't done it Nemesis, but I can't wait to find out eventually. And yeah, that's my kind of review on Inferno. It's a very good coast, I think. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this ride review. If you still are, um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna be doing videos. I'm gonna try and do videos as often as I can. And um, my next video will be another ride review, I think, yep, on either Saw or S Colossus, I think. I've been Ben, you've been watching Theme Park, Ben, and bye.